for plus 80, we're going to remember what we did for the plus 8. So we look at a card with 80, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and we have a question like plus 70. So again, we're going to give, there's two spots available. We're going to give 20 to the 80 to make a full 100, and there are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 left over, making 150. If we have the question 80 plus 50, 80 plus 50, we're going to give 20 to the 80 to make 100, and there are 30 left over to make 130. If the question is 80 plus 60, we're going to give 20 again, making 100, and there are 10, 20, 30, 40 left over 140. If the question is 80 plus 30, then we're going to give two, two groups of 10, 20 here to make a full 100, and there is 10 left over, so 110. If the question is 80 plus 40, we give 20, 10, 20, fill up the card to make 100, and there are two 10s left over, so 120. And the last question, if it's 80 plus 80, we give 20, covering it over to make 100, and we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 left over, so it'd be 160. To write this down, 70 gives 20 to 80. We have, we reduce it to 50, so it's 150. 50 gives 20 to 80, so we have 30 left over, making 130. 60 gives 20, making 140. 30 gives 20, with 10 left over, making it 110. 40 gives 20, for 120 left over, 20 left over here. 80 plus 80, we give 20 for a total of 160. It doesn't matter where the 80 is placed, if it's on whatever side, we still find the highest number and give what we need.